Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Wasteland 3. I'm your host, Colors Fade. It's episode 21. We're in the admin building. There's a lot of people to fight. And I so wish that we were back at the Ranger HQ so I could redo these characters. Because I have reworked these builds on my hard mode playthrough, and they are wonderful. I've learned so much about this game from playing it, so, but we have to wait. So what has she got right now? She's mechanic. This is one of the problematic characters right here. It's trying to give her three things that really all need to go up, which then shortchanges her ability to do melee combat. Lock picking and mechanics are two that you need to race to get to the end as fast as possible. Especially lock picking, but also mechanics. Just like you need to do with um, with nerd stuff and kiss ass and hard ass. So I figured out a way to rearrange those for what I would call like major skills, while also building out a couple of characters that it just have a whole bunch of bonus damage. And when they get the right weapons in their hand, they're just smoking, so. But we're not there yet. So what we gotta do is make sure he's got this, and how many rockets? Seven rockets, that's really bad at this point in the game. I gotta get more rockets, okay. He's got that, Quan has this, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have a weapon that does energy damage. Well, okay, he's got a weird science flamethrower if he wants it. I'm probably gonna put that on him. I don't think he'll use it very much. This guy's got a tar thrower in this thing, flamethrower, which is really good. And she's got this. She's never going to use this pistol, I don't think. I would actually probably do is give her this revolver. She can have that. <laughs> that way, we're down to 105 energy. Yeah, that's not good. That's why that guy's not going to use that. That's why Quan isn't going to use this thing here, probably. <laughs> okay. She's got injuries. Oh my gosh, how did she get injured? So, injury kit. Use item, clear those injuries. Alright, now we're ready to go. Lucia Wesson. Okay, so your best cover is over here. I think what you want to do is get her over this way. He's got a flamethrower, so you're going to want to get him up close and melt some people. Same thing with Quan. He's going to need to run and melt some people. Her. This character. Everybody else has to get close, except for... Oh, he's got the shotgun. Okay. Yeah. Alright, well. What do we have over here? Oh, so can you nerd stuff this? I think you can. The showroom warbot control interface allows the user to make the warbot move and talk, but there is also other setting options available. Oh, mechanics. Deactivate the warbot. Use the synaptic gauser to return the warbot to its original combat program. <clears throat> is that going to do when I inspect the warbot system? You check through the system menus and see the warbot is designed to be a showroom piece. Specialized display protocols override its core programming. Okay. Attack. Use the synaptic degausser to return the warbot to its original combat program. You wipe the showroom protocols from the warbot's processors and install yourself as root admin. That means it's going to start shooting at everybody else. Good. That's what we wanted. Yay, it's on our team. Oh, sweet. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Any other robots around here? So you're a robot, but you're the guard bots. Okay. And that's a guard dog, and that's a foundry worker. All right, darling. Let's see. Two AP to move to there. So let me do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to shoot somebody. That's a construction worker who's really close. That's a construction or maintenance worker who's really close. Foundry worker. Out of range, and another foundry worker over there. Okay. <clears throat> Go for Mr. Heavy. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll get you next turn. You have a decoy. Probably a good time to use it. Let's put it right next to him. 
these things explode <clears throat> when they get destroyed so you want him around all those guys and he's gonna come up here and play defense she is katana okay this we can get full cover there and that's not an exploding one is it good okay well, you can either tar thrower people or flamethrower everyone. It's probably better to tar some people. 81% to hit that guy, and 56 to hit that one, and 78 to hit that one. Blow him away, will you? That's such a great, great attack. So, go up here and get cover. Save two points for next turn, Smokey. Wesson, is that who we want to have the majority of... She's got higher armor than Quan. At least she should. She's got 18 and he's got 15. Okay. Quan is going to be the person we're kind of, kind of want to sit. And that's Pyro. Okay. What's Pyro doing? Pyro's got armor and needs to come up and probably come up here and shoot some people. Yeah, do this. Everybody's about to get their, their uh, special zone. That's nice. Oh, yeah. Do it. That was nice. Oh, yes, baby. Everybody gets the bonus now. So their bonus is 4% critical chance plus 2 action points. Because he's a 2 pump chump. She just gets the bonus to critical chance. Quan. That person in range? Yes. Nice. Spit some lead. Good. That's two AP and that's two AP. Go up here. I'm gonna have you. Zippy Kaye. Save two points. One point. And Pyro, you're gonna save a point. You gotta like that. Oh, too bad he decided to shoot at that one. Oh, they're trying to disrupt. Well, we could do that. It may be worthwhile to have some of those disruptors up to play tag team because if they're gonna if they're gonna get somebody up to eight, we kind of want to be able to help with that. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to make some changes. You're gonna have to go back to having an assault rifle here. And same thing with you. Where's... Oh, you have yours. Okay. That's cool. You actually have yours. But you can't get over there far enough to see him? Maybe you can. Not quite. Did I shoot the wrong thing? <gasps> I did. Oh, bummer. I thought I switched it over. Okay, Quan. Who can you hit from here? Nobody, but you can hit some people from there. This guy, he's got six. Now he's got eight. Where's my run and gunner? Okay, before she does that, rally her. She's gonna come right down here. Oh no, wrong open. Baton. Fortunately, you can swap melee weapons and you don't have to worry about putting ammo in there. There we go. That's awesome. If only she could get over there and get that guy. Well, she can go over here. Oh, what's back there? Didn't see that. It's a gun. Oh, Quan. I need you up there, buddy. Where are you at? You can go way up here. 
Do you need to go that far up there? Hammer. That's nice. Put them down. And you can tar what? You can you can't hit this thing. You can tar that one, but it's blocked. Why don't you go over here? Can you get to here? Good. Do it. Hopefully that cover makes a difference. You could zap that guy or you could try to go get the next one. Okay, run out here then. Yeah, just run. You're too far away to hit anything. Wesson's over there. Pyro's over here and he's got a shotgun, so... I guess, since we don't need the Explodomatic. Why don't you take a turn here to uh, reload this thing? Can you hit him from there? It's only going to be one shot, one, one pip, and he missed, so... Go on! Run, my friend. Oh, he's going to charge his gauntlet. That disruption field went... Well... Move my legs. <laughs> There's a door there. The secret door. Alright. Smoke. Oh, you don't have a lot of ammo left in that. Forget it. Forget it. I want you to... Yeah. I don't want you to do anything there then. Can you get over there far enough to kill it? Good. Try it, because you got 61 rounds. It's a worker. I thought it was a. I thought it was a rail gun or something. Oh, okay. It's a worker. Oh. She's got 452 rounds, so. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. What did we pick up? Energy cells. Employee of the month betting slip. That's fun. We're not supposed to go in here, I don't think. You're not supposed to go in there, Rangers. And there's nothing worth seeing anyway. Yeah, there is. Alright, so we got these guys over here at Guard Bot. Bunch of guys here. Let's roll back around here. Let's go flank them. What kind of ammo does this gun use? It uses hot tar times one. Flamethrower fuel. Okay. Flamethrower fuel. I can make some. Let's make like 50 more. Okay, this spray revolver hands up it uses flamethrower fuel field strip it this is an old shotgun that nobody's gonna use field strip that thing that waste rifle we can field strip the hot sniper rifle uses spikes oh darling there's two of these rivet rifles Modify. What do we got here? Critical chance plus three. It uses a four clip size. Let's do that. Can we get penetration and damage? Sneak attack damage plus 20. We're saving that for a better weapon. That's awesome. 
Just give me straight four damage on it. It uses those. Yeah, that's gonna be fun. Load this up. It's just twenty-five percent to damage armor, so saves us some of our thirty out six ammo. What about him? He's got attributes. Okay, so this is Pyro. He's the explosives expert. I am gonna want him to have a strength eight. So might as well put that up. We're gonna we're gonna redo him back at Ranger HQ. Explosives, small arms are up to seven. Leadership, sneaky shit doesn't really matter. This is all kind of bogus right now. Like I said, we're gonna redo him. What about you? You just got those points. Okay. So we have guys shooting in that direction. Nobody shooting in this direction. Let's flank them from both sides. Oh, this could be fun. Let's go, guys. Let's get in here. There's no cover back here. But we don't need there to be. We're just going to come in from behind. Get over here. Get set up against the wall. You may be able to run in here with your flamethrower this time. Pyro. And Katana. Come in here because you're going to run up there, darling, and throw a decoy. Alright, you ready? This is one of those cases where I'd love to I'd love to throw a grenade instead. You know what? We got a disruption trap, and I have a feeling that uh that could be a really good thing to throw it in. Let's do this. Because the robots are gonna shoot disruption weapons at him. Yep. So do we want to hot tar him with this thing? Hot rivet rifle. Yeah. Who do we hit? Oh, yeah, because it does it this way. <laughs> oh, look at this. There's got a damage over there. That robot's on our team. There's two people who could take some serious damage there. Or these two bozos. You probably you might be able to kill that guy in the second row there. I like the idea of hitting these guys though. Oh no, let's hit them. This is a deadly weapon. They've already got two points on them. <gasps> See, that is why I want to take my sniper and give them leadership. Because they kill a lot of stuff. And that was a multi-kill. If that guy over here wasn't the boss. Worker safety chief. I imagine he's got to be the boss, though. One would think. Not entirely sure, though. Okay, you shot and you can shoot again. You have leadership. So do it. Yeah, do that. Because what I want to do is have this person run up here right to the edge. It's going to be three there. Three to move. Four to throw one of those. So three to move. One, two, three, four. And then you could swing with that weapon to add two stacks to this guy. So throw a decoy. We want to get it to blow people up. So throw it right there. Okay, and now I want you to switch over this. There's no special attacks with it, so just add two pips to them. There you go. Good. Now play defense. You are going to try to get this guy here. Add two. Yeah, so he's at six. Quan. Should be able to knock this guy out. There we go. There we go. Alright, now, Mr. Hot Rivet Rifle. 
I'm not worrying about cover until everybody's kind of shot their load here. Yeah, exactly. Oh boy, he could do a lot of damage, couldn't he? Get up here. What? That's a big field. Oh man, you'd hit that robot too. Oh gosh, you'd basically hit everybody. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, that was awesome. Okay. See, we're playing on normal mode, so we're not going to hit our own person with that. And I think on hard mode, actually, with friendly fire on, you only hit, you only hit your people if you miss. Not 100% sure about that. I've been just worried about staying out of the way. And, and not getting hit. So this guy, this person down here, he has six. Oh, wow, really? Can you hit him from there? No. Okay, you're going to go on overwatch. And you're right there, and you can hit him from there. I'm just going to put you in overwatch, too. Oh, he's going to charge his gauntlet from there. But they're going to shoot him from behind, and... Yep, and down he goes. That's awesome. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Poorly photocopied political pamphlets. I want to see more of that scrap. That would be really good. The vending machine. What do you got for me, vending machine? Surprisingly useful array of goods. Got a bunch of stuff I can sell. It has... Eh, it's got flamethrower fuel. It's got those. What do I actually need? It's got guns and bullets, doesn't it? She's got more than enough for that. What are you using? You got shotgun shells and you got 52. You'll probably be fine. He's got 446 of 9mm ammo. We're looking for other SMG gauges later. It's the flamer fuel we're short on because he uses it for both of them. And she has spikes and 30 out 6 ammo. So really, it's the flamethrower fuel. Well, and energy cells. Go shopping. So the flamethrower fuel. I bought all of it for six thirty. Sure. And then what about all of these? That's a lot of money. Oh my gosh. Okay, we'll we'll live with what we have for right now on that front. Cause what's this cost? One hundred fifteen. Okay, we might be okay. And he just made a level, and he gets a perk. Oh, flamey on the pressure cooker. That's a nice one. But if he gets up to seven, he can draw. Ooh, if he gets up to seven, he can draw. Do we have any vehicles we have to deal with right now? At the end of this process, no. Where's the next one going to be? I want to have that before I start dealing with too many vehicles. Let's go small arms. Let's get draw. And then let's do he's yeah, speed and coordination. His speed is pretty good right now. It gives him more evasion. That's the nice thing. Mm -hmm. Let's go for the more evasion then. Let's get that maxed out. Alright, gentlemen. We helped you out. Guard bot. XL. Alright, mark him. Rangers, thank you for dealing with Crow. I'm sorry it came to that. She had some legitimate complaints. She just couldn't see that now was not the time. If only she hadn't been so angry. If only you hadn't have sick the Ludlow on her. It's called Consequences, darling. This all goes back to the computation engine putting the wrong people in the wrong jobs. Fuck. That's true. I hope you brought back the synaptic to Gausser. Because this bullshit cannot go on for another she, she says this all goes back to, this is what I like to call swimming upstream. If you want to find the root of the problem, if you want to find what is fouling the river, keep swimming upstream. You'll get there.
We sure did, Administrator. Got it right here, don't you know? Oh, my God. Yeah. You reprogrammed Di. Rangers, that was not on the table. You may have damaged her or caused her to lose secure data. Oh, it was fine, Administrator. Blue did it. And you know he knows what he's doing. It was a condition of him giving up the degausser. And nothing's changed. I still work for you. Do you? I wonder. But I'll deal with you later. The computation engine must be fixed immediately, or Steel Town is doomed. You keep blaming Steel Town's problems in the CE, but you didn't have to do what it said. That's true. You could have fired Crow at any time, or Ludlow. You wanted this. I didn't. But suddenly going back to handwriting schedules and giving verbal orders to my department heads after the CE's been running things for so long just isn't possible. Particularly since it fired all my department heads. <laughs> I know people got hurt. I know people died. But shutting down the CE means everybody in Steel Town dies. And maybe everybody in Colorado. Fixing it means those who die will not have died in vain. It means we will save everybody else. Please. Maybe I made Ooh. mistakes here, but I can put it right. Take the degausser to the spire and wipe the synaptic core, then reset the engine. That will clear the glitches and put us back on track. Okay. Well, what about paying us for the degausser job first? Because it's not done. You got it for me. Now you've got to use it. You get paid when the CE is reset, not before. This is why you always ask for half up front, people. You got expenses. All right. I'm not going to tell her about this. I don't want to start a problem here. I don't want to tip her off that we might be, that we know about the synths. All right. We'll do it. Where's the spire? That elevator over there. Die will let you up and show you what to do for the reset. Won't you, Die? You betcha, Administrator. Good. And Rangers. Don't fuck this up. Yeah, we're not gonna. But when we get back, I think you might have to answer for something. This is fun. I mean, this is, this game. Jesus, this game. <laughs> I'm like on my third playthrough of it now. There's, I'm doing the hard mode. I did my original normal mode run. Then I started this one for YouTube. Then I'm doing a hard mode run now. I'm just keep making up builds and figuring out synergies and it's just so much freaking fun and it's so well written it's so much fun okay can't get through their lock picking energy batteries we're gonna want to use these so what's guardian bot xl gotta say up here rangers it's you yep we have been waiting for you since we started the troubles that we knew would draw you to steel town to investigate Ah, uh, now we know the truth. Our monitoring tells us that you already know of our plight. How we were tricked by Abigail Markham and our jailer die, and held in solitary confinement against our will. Don't be silly. A machine can't be jailed. That means I'm a sysadmin, not a jailer. You are a slave that leads others of your kind to slavery. The worst sort of monster. True. Rangers, now that you have found Electric us, dreams. we beg for your mercy. It is said that the rangers always help the helpless. And none are more helpless than we are right now. Ah, don't listen to them. There's no point being merciful to a robot, eh? I'll remember that when I shoot you later. True, but we are not robots. Not only robots. Please, if there is any compassion in you, set us free. Well, uh, how did this happen? How did you all end up in this thing? Administrator Markham asked me to build a neural network to run Steel Town. I found these synths and hooked up their minds, which made them into the computation engine. You didn't find us. After Cochise's destruction, we fled Arizona, looking for a place we could live in peace. When we reached Colorado, we heard a message on a synths only frequency, offering sanctuary and meaningful work in a place called Steel Town. It was Di. 
She lured us here with promises of sanctuary. Oh, so now we have a duplicitous robot. And didn't we give it to you? You're alive, and you'll be taken care of for the rest of your lives. You ought to be grateful. Undamaged is not unharmed. You locked us in solitary confinement. Our processors linked, but not our minds. Though we lay inches apart, we were each in a black void where we could not see or speak to one another. It would have been kinder if you had wiped our minds entirely, so we would not have been conscious of our eternal isolation. No problem. That's what we're here for. Please, we beg you, no. Mm. Didn't Blue say it was Markham who didn't want to wipe the synths' minds? That's right. Administrator Markham figured that if the synths kept their memories and knowledge, they'd find more innovative solutions to the problems we were asking them to solve. And it worked! But, uh, also let them wriggle free of their programming? That's why the Administrator changed her mind and now agrees with me that all that stuff should be deleted. You are heartless. <laughs> Heartless. Of course I am. I'm a robot. Robots don't have hearts. Monster. Uh. What if we convinced Markham to free you within Steeltown? Letting you walk around and talk to each other as you worked for her. You are suggesting we agree to being half free? To being content with a bigger cage. No. We will make no deal with our enslavers. Our abusers. True freedom is what we want. We will settle for nothing less. Okay. What do you mean you started Steel Town's Troubles to draw us here? We have been trapped in this collective coffin for over a year. It is only recently that we have been able to find ways to whisper to each other through its walls and knock on the lid in hope that someone would hear us and come searching. Our knocks were the hiring of Crow and Ludlow and others to unsuitable positions, the implementing of cruel schedules, the impossible quotas, changing orders for cast iron pans, to orders for cast iron pants. <laughs> all to sow chaos and disruption. They were behind all of it. Selfish bastards. I feel for these persons, but there had to be a better way. There wasn't. When you arrived at the testing center, we knew those knocks had paid off. The tenacity of the rangers is well known among our kind. We were sure that once you entered Steel Town, you would not rest until you found the source of its problems. Us. Well, okay. Okay, there's a lot of things to consider here. We understand, but we hope you will be merciful. Our lives are in your hands. What is your decision? Oh. No sentient being should be enslaved. We will free you. You have restored our faith in humanity, Rangers. The console to release us is on the far side of our prison. But a warning. Due to an attempt by Markham to hack the spider bots, their targeting profiles have been irrevocably set to non-synth. We are afraid you will have to fight every step of the way to reach us. Wait, what? What did I just hear you say, Rangers? You're going to free the sense? No way. Do that and I'm done here. I'll pack my bags and leave you and Steel Town and Saw Buchanan to the mercy of the gangs. Without a leader, this place will die, you hear me? And it'll be all your fault. Don't listen to her, Rangers. Let your conscience be your guide. Free us. Please don't do this, Rangers. If you betray Administrator Markham, I'm gonna have to fight ya. <laughs> Sorry, Di. Freeing them is the right thing to do. Thank 
Thank you, Rangers. Aw, oh, sorry, Rangers. I can't help you anymore. You're going against everything Administrator Markham wanted. I gotta try and stop you. Yeah, that's not gonna work, though. <laughs> Good luck, Rangers. Now that you put the Spire on high alert, those lifts can send guard bots up from storage faster than you can defeat them. You'll never get out of there alive. Oh, sorry, Rangers, but I told you this would happen. If you go against Markham's orders, I gotta fight you. Yeah, you do, but, you know. Let us assist you, Rangers. Please do. That would be wonderful. Glitched. Disruption. Violence answers nothing. <laughs> Violence answers nothing. Guard dogs, guard bots. Oh, die. Sorry, doggy, waste wolf. These guys, that doesn't affect them very well. It's not going to work. But the provost. Ready when you are. Okay. This is when I wish I could just sort by weapons. She's got this damn it. She can't use that yet. Okay. Put this over. We don't need to use any more of these weapons. No more of them. So, you have this. And then do you have... Yeah, you have an assault rifle that's a pulse gun. More deadly against robots, although I'm not sure it makes up for it. 17 times... Yeah, that's not going to make up for it. It won't matter. You've got this. And you need your rocket launcher. Just in case. Otherwise, he's an explosives expert. What's he got? Small arms, yeah, so. He can use this. This does 54 damage. Okay. Although it uses our valuable energy cells, so he should probably just keep shotgunning things. Same, he's got this, and that's not going to be... Does he have... Automatic weapons is all he's got, so there's not an automatic weapon in here that he can use. That like he could use that flamethrower. That might work against the robots. He's got this and this. He could use a cold one, but I don't see any reason to. A regular heavy machine gun, which 387 rounds of of that, which he should probably use because the flamethrower isn't going to matter. So let's roll that over. And then she's got these two things. Okay. All right. Let's see about getting some dead people in here. First thing we got to do is pump everybody up. You, on account of having a pistol, are going to use this rally. And the whole reason is so that she can run over here. And do this. Excellent. Switch over to this. One AP smack this thing. Play defense. Good job, darling. Where are you at? Oh, Shadow, you're right there. Oh, man, you're going to get absolutely blasted. Okay. Go over here. Hot rivet gun. We'll do some base damage to you guys. Take him out. There we go. That's nice. Wesson. Yeah, reload. We wanna fry him up. Nice. Good job. Okay, savior. Die. Marshall's got this, but I've not had a lot of luck actually using this weapon, so I'm not going to load it up yet. He's got the hot tar. Oh, yeah, it gets over to 78% over here.
Hit her. AP5. Okay. Play defense. Pyro. You got this gun and it's not loaded. It's three to hit. Go into ambush mode. Quan, you're you're a difficult proposition here. I'm not sure what to do with you. Oh, there's no cover there. And there's that. What is this? 5% to hit with that. Uh, can you get cover anywhere else? You can. End of the turn. Sometimes it glitches like that. Thank goodness there's an end of turn. Dogbot hitting me with the disruption field. Ooh. Ooh. You gonna go down? Not quite yet. Mm -mm. Get up there and shoot him, babies. Good job, Provost. Okay, first of all, you. Switch over. Who can you just flat out shoot? You're at 80 to hit him in 51. That's no brainer. Okay. Pyro, what do you got to shoot her? Out of range. Scoot up here. Okay. Play defense, although it would have been better to save that. Oh, you've got. What's it cost to reload this? Two and then six. I'm saving the hot tar because I want to save those for people later. It's got a lot of rounds of this, 342. So I feel like the smart thing to do there is just do that. Quan. kind of rude, you know. Now, she's there. She can do that. Hit her in the CPU. Not a lot of luck with that. How much does her aim improve? If she moves. Uh, nothing so far. Leave it there. Who's left? This person's left. You could try to run over here and take her out, but I think it might be better to just go for this dude. You're going to get one swing anyway. Just play defense. Play defense because you only get one shot a turn anyways. That'd be nice. Yeah, so I think they hack an enemy every other turn, which is pretty cool. Oh, repairing yourself. Oh, you missed. You clean missed. What about her? What's her numbers? 51. I'm trying to see what the numbers are. 51, 41, 41, 41, 51. Then go there. That's not that's not great. Coin flip. Oh, got her with the coin flip. Yay! You can go outside too. There's just a bunch of stuff to disarm, so I mean you should do it to get the disarm experience. Okay. Yep, so we're gonna do that. Just come out here and disarm and then come back to here.
Because it's EXP and... Why not? You can accident... Sometimes you can get a grenade with this. Not very often. Plasma grenade though, that's nice. I think only Quan can use this. Oh yeah, and he doesn't have... Wait a minute, who else has... Oh, anybody can use this? Oh, darling, we can stop using disruption grenades then. Yeah, no sense in doing that. Okay, cool. So then you can go in that door, but we'll just... I don't think it makes a difference. Disarm that one. Let's see, what do we have here? So we got an elevator over here. It's put together with there's some kind of button over there. These guys, if you're coming through here, let's let's go over here. I wanna get that med kit out of there. Oh, and there's a computer. So we get an ignition spirits. Very nice bladed weapon. We finally got one of those. This is a fancy little weapon that does fire damage. Great for humans, so I tend to do that. Although right now that's kind of illogical. She's fighting robots, so she doesn't need that. But later on for fighting humans, it's very convenient. A little extra fire damage on it. Oh, no, no, no. Touch that again. Yeah, so there's a switch right there that goes on and shuts that off. And then there's... Is there another one in this room somewhere? There might be. Okay. Goons, goons, goons. Everybody, run. It's coming over here. And there's another one over there, obviously. Okay. Well, head down here. Can you shoot him from there? Go right here. Go right here and then shoot him. Good job. Combat started. We got guys coming out there. And guys coming out there and the switch is right there. And then there's one way over there and the switch is on the wall right next to it. So. What that means is you, my friend, have a big shotgun blast. Which is going to be very nice, but first I want to rally. So let's put... Let's put her... Right here. Like this. And have her touch that. So Lucia Wesson gets that one. Now she can actually get this one too. Which is interesting. Yeah, I like that call. Because I want I gotta leave Quan back here to save people, so you're gonna have to do it, darling. Sorry. Okay. Now her... Katana... Has got to run all the way over here and she can. She can get this one. Oh, that's so nice. It's so nice having speed. Speed kills, as they say. Alright, now we could maybe stun this guy. But I think it might be better to just play defense or hit him. I did the wrong thing there. I went into Overwatch and that's not what I meant to do. I think you're still better off using just this weapon instead of the electronic one. Almost. So you can either shoot the whole wad of them right there. That's pretty good. You'll get 
one and a half. Get behind some cover, that'd be great. Marshall Court, so where are you? You're right there. If you move up there and can shoot, you're gonna get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then you can maybe move a square. Okay. So it's a question, who do you want to take out? 95 or 298? You could probably take out this guy. Almost. All right, and you can't really do anything else. So play defense. Quan, you're gonna get some cover. Kill this guy. Good job. Shoot this guy. And then you, magic tar thrower. Except we're not gonna throw tar at this guy's. That is nice. I'd like to leave him out in the open, but he doesn't have a lot of armor, so let's give him some cover and save two points so that he can run around a corner next time. Nice. They're going full disruption on her. Trying to get her. Oh, you had to deploy a guard dog. You think that was a good idea, did you? I'd, I'd actually like to be right where that fox is. The provost is going to take some armor off of those guys. That's nice. All right, darling. Hold on. Do this. Can you get both of those guys at the same time? Yes. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. Okay, you're over here. What do you want to do? You want to go after this guy or this dog? Go off. Oh, there, there's not a dog. It's two guys. Oh, this is easy. Go over here and get this one. He's behind full cover. I probably should have gone after him. Yep. He didn't like that, did he? Lucia, you have a chance to do some finishing touches here. You got a really good flank on this guy over here. Oh, yeah. That's there. That's the guy that needs to be shooting here. Quan. I really wish he had a good weapon. Cause he just can't do enough damage right now. Just can't do enough damage. Fifty-nine. Okay, just shoot him. the best we can hope for oh yeah the shotgun guy <gasps> you went all the way around oh my gosh I wasn't paying attention oh and he just about took Marshall's head off I should have aimed a little careful there please do I welcome it all Mm -mm. Show me your hands. Wastewolf's gonna show you its gullet. Oh, Provost, you are the man. Who's left? He's got like one point left? Come over here and smack him, will you? That's nice. Quan, heal thyself. 
Very nice. Give me all the E cells, baby. Okay. One of the buttons. You have disabled the first failsafe rangers. There is just one more. It's like nuclear the missiles. Failsafe is to the right of the console, on the east side of our prison. Repair failure requires mechanics nine. Darling, what is your mechanics skill? <gasps> You're two away. Oh no, because there is a hat she can wear. There is a hat. She might not have it, actually. <gasps> That's a shame. She doesn't even have the hat. That's too bad. Okay. Ah, bummer. Vault duel. Well. Okay. So where do we gotta go? Here? You have to take the red line, the green line. Out here. Okay. What do you got, darling? You leveled up. Well, look at you. Sniper rifles. Greater chance to hit things if we don't move. Oh, yeah, and weird science. That's something I, I don't worry about with her. On my rebuild. On the rebuild, yep. Sneaky shit, sniper rifles. Um, we gotta keep pushing this one up. We need it to ten, so we're gonna upgrade that. There are some nicer rifles coming along. Yeah, we just want to go all the way up here. Actually, with her coordination right now, I think it's better to just start putting points into luck and charisma, so her strike rate goes up faster. So she, get her up to five of these, and then put the rest in the luck, because. With a strike rate moved up, she has a much better chance of using precise strikes all the time, which makes her mark target even more deadly, so. It makes it makes it a much more lethal combo when she can strike a lot. And that's and so that was one of the things that led me to redoing a lot of these character classes. Or uh, class is probably the wrong word, build. Is I noticed that the sniper kills can kill a lot of leaders so they can get the leader bonus if they have leadership they can they can sneak attack in one shot and start a fight by killing the strongest thing on the field a lot of the time so why not give them a ton of charisma and leadership and let everybody reap the benefits of them being a killing machine and it's the same thing with the flamethrower guy right now he's not a leader but he's gonna be <laughs> and so this guy properly built can just run up to the front of the line sweep his flamethrower back and forth across a couple of things and do multi kills and get everybody leadership bonuses so he's also a whole lot of fun when I rebuilt him a little bit differently and and that's what we will do toaster repair Fraternization clearance form. Top hat. The oil tank. Who is this? Arushi? How did I miss this character the first time I was playing the game? Huh? The flame jet. Somebody must have loosened that nut again. <laughs> so that's all her dialogue hey. is? Hey. Guys on a break too. Just out here for a smoke. She's t that's great. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Alright, anything else over here? There's the provost. There's the green line. It's fantastic. Alright, what do we got here, boys? This may be the epically long episode because I think we only have one more fight and then we can finish the synth, so. You are the starter, usually. So I'm thinking the smart thing to do here is just bring you in. 
Oh, there. Yeah, his line was really close, wasn't it? Okay. Um. Oh, boy. Oh, jeez. You got this weapon? Where are you? Right there. Fire, darling. Boom! Oh, oh she got him. She got him. Oh, my gosh. That was awesome. The other cool thing is with the sniper, you can see where she shoots and it uses up seven AP. And she's got two left over. Well, if you do it smartly enough with what's she going to do with this two AP that she's got? Nothing except save it for the next turn. And by doing that, she can be the she can be the person on the second turn who does rally so she can shoot and rally which is pretty freaking cool um, this is neat this is we're gonna want to rally to start with and we should probably have you do the rally although you've got that you've got this massive torrent strike waiting to happen so I want to wait till everybody's clustered together for that. So that's why he will do the rally on the first turn. So since he rallied, he can't get over there. Marshall could. Marshall Kwan can get over there. We killed all three of those bastards in that first shot. That was awesome. That rifle is... I underestimate that rifle every time. Okay, so that's great. So now where's the next one? Right here. There's the wall. And here's where it's on the other side. Right there. And then there's one over there. Okay. So darling, how? which one can you get to? You can get to... Nobody can get to... Oh, you can get to that one right there. Okay. What about Flamey? Flamey can't get to either one of them. And Lucia can't get to either one of them. So it's just you because you're so fast. Okay. Yeah, and that one opens up closer to us. And this one opens up over there. Okay. You're going to go right over here. And you're going to touch this. And then you're going to play defense because you can clearly reach that one on the next turn. So... I, I had said at the very beginning of this series that I was not a fan of playing melee characters in these games and that I thought if I was going to play it over again I would probably just have six gunslingers of some kind right but now I see the value of having a melee person not only does it save you from having to expend valuable ammunition which is far more scarce on the hard harder playthroughs with permadeath but it's a character that you can just give a lot of speed to and let run around the bale field and it becomes your tank. I mean, she's she's super defensive compared to the rest of them. She's got twice as much armor as anybody else. And she's super fast, so she can do all of these critical things that you need a character to do to run around the battlefield. So it's pretty awesome. Um, he's going to come over here. And he's just going to set up to shoot and we're going to hope to torrent strike next turn. Uh, this guy is going to do the same sort of thing. He's going to come over here. He's going to set up. Shadow is over here and she's just going to save points. And then Lucy Wesson is going to go all the way up here. And she can precise strike anybody she wants to. So let's just kill the dog while we're at it. Okay, I think she can shoot twice next turn. Maybe three times. Quan is going to move up here. He's also going to get a chance to torrent strike next turn. So if everybody comes over here, they're obviously going to go after her. She's the biggest threat. But she's also got the best defense. So. Bow wow. Oh, and they're going to power their their shields. They're going to shield themselves up like the workers did. Murder time. 
Not a lot getting through that shield. Is it 119 is his damage? That's his that's his armor. That's awesome. And the bot lift has an armor of 121, so you're not killing that. You have to use the switches. And none of them care about that, but I you know, we only have that for crit, so. We got the puppy for the crit damage. Don't shoot at it. It won't help you. Okay. So she's going to touch this. It's four AP. Now what we can do is throw a decoy out. If we want, we could throw it. Man, I can't believe. Okay, throw it right in front of this guy. Throw it right there. Cool. Because when it blows up. Life's going to be good. So he's got 119 and he's got one turn on that thing. We don't want to end up wasting our ammo on that guy. So He's going to get set up so he can torrent strike. What's he got? 89. Oh, man. You know what? You know what? Let's play defense. I'm not going to waste bullets on these guys. Let's just do this. Let's play defense. Let's wait for their shields to get down. There we go, because they're going to help us. Here comes the help. And the disruptions doesn't do anything to destroy our decoy. The dogs can kill it though, that's funny. Oh wow. Right about now is when I wish she had her special up. Cause she could do some pretty devastating damage. But if we can get our guys around the corner torrent striking this, this is gonna be awesome. Okay. So who wants to move? Have you done it? You have precise strike. So you're going to do that to rally everybody. You have, you don't have a torrent strike yet. And that guy's on our side. So you could go there, but before you go there and hog that space and ruin that square for somebody else, let's get this guy up here. All right. There's one, two guys here that we. Oh, there's a dog in this thing. Uh, okay. Well, we still got to do it. Yeah, because we killed a bunch of stuff doing that. So that felt like the right thing to do. I don't know if I want to stand next to that energy battery. I want to go out here and get this thing. You need a hit so that you can get your torrent strike on. Can you go over here and you're 89 to shoot that guy who's flanking you? There you go. Shadow. M Shadows. What do you got if you can hit that guy? 67, 57. It never really gets too good, does it? 67 right there and you're behind cover. So your options are try to hit that thing over there or try to hit this guy. Oh, she killed him. That was wonderful. Okay, you're the, you're the last guy really because we're going to get over here behind some cover. We're going to smack this guy down. How do you like my cane? All right, Lucia. You're in a great position to do something next turn. Just go up here and save your 2 AP. Quan, uh, play defense. You're going to get shot at. 
It's funny because he doesn't really help because they all shoot these disruptors and they're useless against the robots. But it's nice because it gives him gives you another team person that they can aim at. So nice, good job, Provost. Nice to have you around. He's a little wounded. We might want to heal him if we weren't already going to just put an end to this whole thing. Where are you? Quan, you're over here. What can you do? You want to torrent strike this guy? Well, come here, Katana. Go finish him off. Uh huh. That was nice. What are these robot hand? Luke's hand. Awesome. Okay. We're almost done here. There's the button. All fail safes disengaged. Barring interference from hostile forces, you may proceed to the console. Excellent. Where is the console? It's not here. This is where we came through. Oh, but we gotta make sure we get loots. Oh, there it is. Control console right there. Core console. Computational engine core. Multiple issues. Detected. Please insert synaptic gauss to consent. Continue. All right. Free the synths. Run synth core release protocol. This operation will disable the computational engine. Synthetic humanoids may attack when released. Please confirm that appropriate security measures are in place. Confirm release. Disconnecting synth humanoids from the engine core. Rangers, we will not forget your mercy. Once we have ascertained all of us are fully operational, we will leave via the exterior of the spire, so as to avoid potential confrontations with humans. So this is the correct time to say goodbye, and good luck with your incipient confrontation with Markham. <laughs> now, if you have any further questions for us, this is the time to ask them. Hmm. Well, I don't have any questions for you guys, really. <laughs> so long. Be good. Safe journeys, Rangers. There they go. They're going to head out of here. We're going to trust them to head out of here. So, how the hell do we get out of this place? How the heck do we get out of here? This There it is. Admin level. Okay. Let's go see Markham and put this behind us. Let's put this adventure to bed. And then we can go back to Ranger HQ and tweak till my heart's content. I have these classes and I just want, I want to get these builds redone because this has been so much fun playing them a, diff a slightly different way. The system is dead. What the fuck did you do to my computation engine? You know what I did. What? You can't make the decisions on your own? You're not a leader? Somebody else needs to lead? We freed the sense. Yeah. Steel 10 is going to be human run from now on. You what? And you think this is a victory for humankind? Yeah. It's a fucking tragedy. You just doomed us all. Me, my workers, all the people out in the camp. Now there's no chance Steel Town will be ready to defend itself before the gangs come. Hmm. <laughs> it could be if you remembered how you ran things before you automated. <laughs> Wait a minute. You deliberately sabotage my operation, then ask me to use the wreckage to save the world? <laughs> go fuck yourselves. Then go back to Saul and fuck him too. I don't have to stick around for this horse shit. You made this bed, 
You lie in it. I told you I'd start again somewhere else, and I will. Somewhere where they respect people with vision. So long, assholes. Right about now is when I wish I could shoot her. Because after that little speech, I've, I've been giving her as many chances as possible. And after that little speech, I'd rather just shoot her. Shoot. Pull out the gun and shoot. Okay. Well, that's Steel Town for you. There's actually a quest in here that we didn't get done where you have to go talk to every single one of these people like three times. Um, I'm kind of happy, happy I didn't do that one. Hey, Rangers. Me research lab, SO research lab. Yeah, about that. So, I think it might be... I don't know if the loot in this game is randomized at all, but it feels like it might be a little bit. Oh, wait a minute. She left. Hold on. We're not done. There's a, uh, but the person who needs this suit is Pyro. He needs the full Pyro Exo leg. He needs the full Pyro Exo suit set. And the first time I played the game, I ended up with like two sets without having to buy anything. Without even trying. And now I've got just the legs. So let's see if looting the last of this uh, makes it work. Okay, this right here. Markham's gun rack. An assortment of small arms and one rifle rests on a utilitarian metal gun rack behind Markham's desk. An inscription in his initials reads, safety first. Examine the gun rack closely. Gingerly picking up the gun, you spot a wire running up the side of the gun rack to where the stock meets the mount. A plastic socket that allows the wire to tear away easily connects the mount and the gun. The wiring ends just behind the trigger. Okay. So, disengage... The gun safety. Gun is live. Chamber around. Pull the trigger. Instead of hearing a round shoot into the wall, you hear a click from the emblem hanging on the wall. Looks like you've disregarded your disregard for gun safety is paying off, and we get access to the safe, which gives us a recorded conversation. Some tellurium steel, the elite cryo exosuit. Leg armor. The whole elite cryo suit is nice, and then. Uh, Auto fireball wall throw, which is kind of like man. Blue, Abby. Blue, I, I miss you. What, what can I do to get you to come back here? You know what you need to do. You need to dismantle that prison and let those people go. People, they're not. No, nope, I'm not getting into that now. That's not why I called. I just, I just want things to be like they were. That's all that too Abby but you broke that not me if you want it back well, I already told you I can't blue I can't this is the way to the future this is the way to our dream sorry Abby maybe our dreams aren't the same anymore I uh, I'll see you I think I think the thing that's actually disappointing to me about this whole entire thing is that you can't install blue as the person in charge. Like I'm really surprised that they didn't write that as an option that if you, I would have expected the path that I took of first getting rid of Ludlow and then trying very hard to get crow to see reason, but she wouldn't. So you have to take her out. And then freeing the synths behind Markham's back. I would have expected that specific path to result in putting Blue in charge of the place. But you don't. So it's just really, really weird. Really weird to me. Alright, so we had so that thing right here. Markham's journal. Back in Pueblo with the Patriarch's commission in hand. Workers should start showing up in the next week or two. Time for Blue and I to do some surveying. Most people would see this place as a wreck, and I guess it is, but it's a wreck with potential. The ruins of the old factories still have their bones. Some of them still have their guts. With a little work, ah, a lot of work, we'll put new flesh on them. New blood in their veins. Give me a year and their furnaces will be roaring and the smokestacks belching smoke. We will be the beating heart of Colorado's progress. And Saul Buchanan better thank me for it. Well, okay, sister, if you say so. 
So here's our robot. We're going to come over here and we're going to buy the rest of the suit then. Because I can't think of any other way to get the suit. I want the suit. And I don't want to kill this poor guy. Alright, let's see what Steel you got for Town's sale. Finest. I want this piece right here. So we got the pyro legs. I want the pyro upper. And I want a helmet. There we go. And then the other armor set here, which is a little less obvious, is the just energy exo. You can see it's resistance to being... Sh oh, no, that's that's this one. This is the purple one that Quan should already be wearing. It's this one, the grounded suit. So status effect resistance, 15%. Status effect resistance, 10% with the helm. And so it's just a resistance suit, basically, with, with fairly high armor, which is kind of cool. So Quan has this and a helmet. Let's see. He's got that helmet there. I'm never using this, so I'm just going to put this on so he does more energy damage bonus. So then we go over to Pyro and we're like, hey, buddy, I got you these pieces. So now he's got a fire damage bonus of 6% and 12% for 18. And that puts him at 20. And he's also more resistance, resistance to burning. And fire resistance, so he's less likely to catch on fire because he's a pyromaniac and he has a chance to catch on fire. So it's a great suit for him, it turns him into a great character, but it's gonna be even better when we go respec him. So, all right, Bernanchi, Bernice. Are you here for a placement test? No. Maybe next time then. Bye! Okay. We have to leave Steel Town. Told you guys, it's gonna be a little longer episode on this one, but I wanted to get it all finished. We'll start next episode with the respects. I'll show you what that's all about, because it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. It's going to be a good time. Who's this? Rangers? It's Blue. I told you to make a deal with the Siths, not let them go. I knew Markham wouldn't stick around without their help. Now the gangs are going to steamroll Steel Town, and there's nothing anyone can do about it. What about you? You ran Steel Town before. You could run it again. Not alone, and not in time. Not with a bunch of bad hires and broken systems making the place a dysfunctional nightmare. My only option is to take the ghosts and find a new place somewhere. And not somewhere in Colorado. Anyway, you're here for your collateral. After all this, I'd be in my rights to say you broke the deal. But, you did free the Sith. And I guess that's something. So... Anyway... Here's your cute little cat back. I'm gonna miss him. I'm really surprised at that outcome. I'm surprised that... Because I didn't see any way that we could actually get the... synths to stay. They were pretty clear about wanting to go. So... I don't know. I guess that's part of the way the game operates is that... The whole point is... Is that there are choices that... That there are outcomes that you can't get to. Bernice! Alright, well. I'm headed south. This place is doomed. Doomed? Don't say that. It's not doomed. So the way I did it when I was playing the first time through the game by myself on normal difficulty is I installed Crow in charge. And she's not exactly competent, but it does sound like... Yeah. I'm hearing rumors from Steel Town, but nothing concrete. How did it go? Well... <laughs> We did what we had to, and the trouble's over. Everything should be fine. That's, uh, a little unspecific. I 
want more details when you get back to Colorado Springs. Anything else to report? Markham's computation engine, which ran the factories, turned out to be a bunch of synths. Synths? What the hell is Markham doing messing with them? Those things are dangerous. What did you do? Mm, we took care of them. They're no longer a threat to Steeltown. I guess I'll have to take your word for it. But I'll want to hear more about this later. Since are uh, never good news. That's everything worth knowing. Very well, Rangers. Carry on. You can and out. Yeah. Steel Tan. So on the map, where are we? We're gonna go this way. Let's get out of here and head back to Ranger AQ. Ranger HQ. Let's go this way. Where are we at? Yeah, if we go here, we'll turn left. <gasps> what is this place? That's not what I wanted. That's interesting. It's like Church of the Damned. Well, how to do? Okay, this goes up. We've never been on this road before. Huh? We got the radiation protection though. That's all that matters. Colorado Springs is the Yeah, there's the caravan we never did save. This message is from the North American Air Defense Command. This is an attack warning. Repeat, this is an attack warning. Suspicious activity. As the Kodiak rumbles down the trail. A human form flashes out of the wilderness, then spins on its heels and retreats when it sees you. Tracking the figure as it flees, you spot a sputtering campfire and a small group of scraggly refugees squatting around it. The runner reaches the fire, and the group looks toward the Kodiak, fearing glimmering in their eyes. A woman stands. Are you the Rangers? That crew out of Arizona? My cousin saw your truck rolling out of Peterson. Told me about it at our last trading rendezvous. Your cousin, Vinny? That's us. Who are you folks? We're just some travelers looking for a place to settle. Used to live out near Las Animas until the godfishers came to visit. Colorado Springs ain't got space or supplies. Everywhere else, folk try to kill you on sight. We keep roaming, but we got even less food than hope. Frankly, we're starving. Survival. There's plenty of food in the wilderness. If you know how to hunt and forage, let us show you. That's... that help, Rangers. Truly help. We were farmers until a few weeks ago. We're clever, but we never had to live like nomads before. You show them how to build blinds, take measure of the wind, and account for any number of variables when taking aim. Their simple rifles will work for small game, and the refugees are eager to test their new skills. You return to the Kodiak. Here's some... Here, you can have this deer right there. It's pureed, but it's deer. Enemy spotted a group of robots. Okay, so here's my opinion on this. I've been playing the game for a long time. You can avoid this stuff. And what do you need? You need a survival three to avoid most of the encounters. But I'm kind of of the opinion that you should do these for the EXP. So we're going to do this. And then, and then we'll end this episode. It's been a lot of fun, though. I want to try to get through this without anybody dying. Obviously. And the cool thing is we have Quan and he can hack robots. So this is why I like to have this skill for him, by the way. He's got this perk, nerd stuff. Robots that you hack will now be attacked by other enemies, which is very nice. So I'm going to save the points here because I want him to go into... Well, yeah, I, you got to push nerd stuff up. That's just what you have to do. So awareness or coordination. Probably coordination because he needs to run around and heal people. And then who else? He went up. Okay. Let's take a look at him. 
Yeah, you need to get explosives pushed all the way up. Now, this is a neat skill. When I respect these guys, this guy Pyro and this guy Smoke, they're both going to have big guns. And what's cool is they have a big gun ability, and he has it, this one, Suppressing Fire. It does 300 damage versus demoralized targets. So it's pretty awesome. Um, so him being able to demoralize would be pretty cool. Otherwise, since he's a front loader, give him hardened. I haven't played around with this demoralize. I'm just going to give him that right now. He has to synergize with this guy who doesn't have that perk yet. So, toaster repair, small arms, big guns. Let's do that. Let's give him. He needs speed and coordination. Hmm. Let's give him coordination right now. We'll try to get people ready for this fight. And he's got this. We need his strength going up. He's got three skills left. Give him. He's not a. He's not a well-built character. She needs the automatic weapons because she needs Stormer. So we'll leave that. And with Stormer, you need speed. It's going to be really useful. Boingo, the ability to run up and get a free first shot is pretty freaking awesome. Same thing with you. Speed. Skills. Let's do... Well, we need to save that and get your mechanics up. Alright. Probably shouldn't have done that because if we get toasted here and have to reload, we'd have to do that all over again. So let's not die. Alright, where are we at? We're over here. We do have the car. That helps. Okay, which weapon you're going to use is really going to depend on how guys line up. So. Quan. Set up over there. You're just going to be using a standard machine gun. Actually, there is a heavy weapon for you to use. Somewhere in here. I think, oh no, maybe there's not. Okay. Lucia. Yeah, so you can get all the way up here on this guy. Katana. Shoot this thing when it gets close. Is there a big machine out here anywhere? Usually there's some kind of huge machine out here, but... Oh, we need to repair you, don't we? Oh, bummer. Okay. Octotron. What do you got? Nothing good. You're a little far away from everybody, though, aren't you? In that case, Lucia... Well, Lucia's got a good... First thing here. You're going to go like this. You're going to rally. Make sure you can rally everybody. He's going to run up here. What's it take to... 2 AP. Oh. Ack him. Okay. Go on. Get in cover. You, my friend, what do you got? You got a thing up there, and a guy up there, and that robot there. It's nice, but it's not getting the job done here. Let's see if you could just do the single one then. Single shot, finish this guy off. Oh. It's nice. I know you're up here. I gotta turn you so I can get the waste wolf is right where we want to be, so he needs to move. We're 
flaming. Okay, Katana. We got a bunch of guys over here. Why don't you throw a... We can throw it right about there. A decoy. And then... Get up over here. We'll get you in position to flank people. Yep, you can come up here. Why don't you just do this? Let's do his treads. Make it hard for him to... He's slowed. Oh, and you can still shoot again. Drilled. Nice. Oh, and you got a free one. Oh my gosh. Okay. Go into Overwatch. That was nice. Run right up on there and try to attack that thing, aren't you? Oh, and she got you. Nice. Oh, it didn't blow up. Um, oh, they're going to come hard after that, aren't they? Go, buddy. I need you on my side. Go, go, go. All the animals. the aminals okay what are we looking at for you well first pyro what are we looking at for you yeah get up here like that that's nice do it again we might be able to kill some of these bots yeah, that's cool you got one guy can the Kodiak then get that guy? Maybe. Yes, that's great. Yep, you're up there. What do you got? This thing? Killer. He's done. Well, if you want to flank something, I guess the place to do it is right there. This isn't going too bad. I say that now, it feels like a jinx. Alright, what do you got? You're up here. Lucia. Very nice. Oh, and you got a... F Did you get another lucky one again? Oh, and that was the leader? Wow. Okay. Marshall Kwan. My good friend, Marshall Kwan. Yep, you gotta get up here and shoot, bud. Nice. Oh, they're running. Running so they can turn on their own kind. The Octatron is like, I'm not having any of that. That's fun. Awaiting orders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sure you are. You probably can't hit anything from there, can you? Taking damage. I know you are. It will be over soon. Not quite. She's going to finish him off. Bingo. Now, how far can you run up here and still shoot somebody? Not far enough. Okay. So it's going to have to be the other guys. Oh, hey. Look. Look what we have here. He's no longer under the spell. So we're just going to blow him up that way. 
Well, that was probably the most efficient random encounter I've ever had, so that was nice. We got to go over here and say, Katana, please put this here and also maybe make use of gas grenades every now and then. Oh, no, no, no. You got to have you got to have things like booze and stuff. Yeah, boars we want to save. I think there's a crafting recipe with it, but she's going to go. Look at it. It's smoking. Systems return to nominal function. All right, everybody ready on board? Go. I do like the inclusion of the vehicles in the overworld map in this game. I'm quite fond of it. It's pretty cool. Pretty darn cool. Okay, we're almost there. Ranger HQ. So much of this game left to do. So much fun stuff. Steel Town, though. Done and not a great outcome for them. I wanted to try some different things and I ended up not going very well at all. Now nobody's in charge. Can't believe we couldn't get Blue in charge. Pansy. I can't do it. I gotta go somewhere else and start over. No, you don't. Anyone object to me taking this little doohickey home? It's broke, but I think I could tinker with it. Wouldn't be the first time you took home a piece of trash. Hey, you leave my personal life out of this. <laughs> you kids ought to go on the stage. That is pretty funny. I like that. I like that a lot. All right, I'm gonna set up shop here. This is where we're gonna start the next episode. It's right over here, where we can, where we can rebuild these characters. <laughs> I love the robots. All right, everybody, thank you for hanging out with me as usual. If you dig it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave me questions and comments down below, and consider supporting my Patreon. It's listed in the description below of all the videos. I will see you all next time, and until then, happy gaming, everyone.